Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Karin Salabi and if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and share this video. So I have the iPhone 7 and I, I mean I got the iPhone 7 and I have the iPhone 6s. My phone cracked really bad on the screen. So when the iPhone 7 came out, I set it to pre-order it. I got this thing on September 17th and believe me when I tell you that I'm just getting my phone right now. I don't understand because I pre-ordered it. But I got the iPhone 7 in 128 gig because I normally use my, I have a lot of pictures on my phone. And I actually use my phone for my day-to-day -day life pretty much, just like my life pretty much. The box is that and I got the black one and what did I get? I don't know, I forgot the sleek one, the really, really sleek one. I have a lotion on my hands, but I don't want to touch it. But yeah. So, obviously you guys know how the iPhone comes, but this is pretty much it. And then it has like stickers and like, it tells you the instructions of welcome to my iPhone, blah, 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 blah. Um, I have seen the, it actually comes with the headphones. Oh no, it comes with the regular headphones. I thought it would come with the other headphones that just stay in your ears but it comes with the regular ones which is fine um it comes with the lighting cord lighting cable and the charger so look ah, so excited i don't want to take it off but i'm going to start my phone right now there's i don't think there's any difference with the iphone 7 and the iphone 6s honestly like the only difference is it doesn't have the the what do you call it it doesn't have the audio jack it has like a just the connection pretty much so that's a difference and the home button is a little bit different as well i think this phone is actually i, I don't know i don't think it's lighter i want to touch yeah this feels a little bit heavier in my opinion but the carriage and everything because i've had the six which is not the plus but this is the plus so so when i start my phone i press the button I don't know why I'm so excited to get a phone, but yeah. So, just waiting for it to come up. Hey, time out, iPhone. You can surely come up, but yeah, this honestly feels like this is going to be a really bad decision. I wish I got the matte black one because I saw someone that had this one and I asked them if I could see. I've never seen the iPhone 7 before, but. Now that I'm looking at it, I know that once I touch it, it's going to get like a lot of fingerprint stains on there. Even with the matte seven, I still I still think it will. I wish I actually got this in the same color as well, because now that I'm thinking about it, like I never really see the handprints, and it's easier to clean this one than it would be to clean this one. So you know, regular stuff comes with the hello, and then you pretty much set it up. So I'm going to show you guys how I will be setting up my iPhone. So I'm pretty much going to choose my um, country of region, which is the United States. And then I'll just choose my network. I'm going to use my cellular and my home Wi-Fi. So my... So as you guys know, I told you I have the jet black. And you guys can see pretty much all of the fingerprints on it that is annoying. That's the back of the screen. And this is the top of the screen. So once I click it and I enter into my screen, the first thing you see is pretty much my mail, my calendar, photos. I haven't completely synced all my photos, but this is pretty much what you can see. Then the next thing I go to is my camera. Then I only downloaded a Google Maps because I prefer the Google Maps to my actual phone. Excuse me, um, the actual maps that comes with it. I have is my clock weather and pretty much everything that comes with the iPhone is on here and that's pretty much it so these are the ones I downloaded these are the apps I downloaded the apps I downloaded for travel I have Airbnb booking.com sky scanner uber lift and hotel tonight all these are really good apps this is my favorite travel app which is sky scanner it pretty much finds like the cheapest flight so in case if you were looking for that that's really good and my hotel tonight app is actually one of my favorite ones for hotels when i go on an impromptu when i go on an impromptu um what do you call it trip and i needed to get a hotel this only lets you book like a week in advance you can't do more than a week in advance it finds you the cheapest hotels for on short notice pretty much 
and these are both taxi services i lift i don't know if they, they don't have it where i live but every time i go to like dc or new york they have that there and then it's Uber. the next one i have are my social media ones if you don't have me on snapchat you should totally add me my name is connie so i'll be on there and yeah i pretty much snap and you guys can see pretty much what my ceiling fan looks like but yeah that is my filters this is like my favorite but yeah that's pretty much it for that one and then i have instagram if you don't have me on instagram you should follow me my name is its i'll put it on the screen it's k-y-l-a-b-i-i -I. and then i have pictures on there that you could definitely check out I post funny things and I also post some videos and I post pictures as well pretty much just like my day-to-day -day pictures and whatever I have Pinterest I also have whatsapp I have blogger and blogvin I have Twitter if you don't follow me on Twitter you definitely should my Twitter is the same thing as my Instagram but it has one eye instead of two eyes and that's just pretty much my Twitter so the next app I have is YouTube of course. I love this app because like I like to because I obviously just had my phone. I haven't set up everything on my phone yet, but I will once I start to get no to use my phone more. I have Facebook because I want to start using Facebook. Um I do have a Facebook account but I don't really use it, but I made a page. So when I open up the page and stuff and like sort it out, you guys will see. I have a Tumblr and this is a couple app. This is pretty much an app with you and your like you know your partner or whatever. You can text them, snap them on there or whatever, take pictures, write corny things. It's just a cute app, especially if you're in a long distance relationship and you just want something where no one can see what you guys are talking about. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you can do like cute things on there or you can feel their heartbeat. It's really cool. The next thing I have is shopping. I love shopping on my phone. I don't know if anyone is like me. If you are, then you definitely need these top apps I have, which is Ebates and Retail Me Not. Retail Me Not pretty much finds you like coupons for the stores that are around you. Like if you go to the mall, it'll show up all the coupons that you have. It really saves me a lot of money. And Ebates is just an app that lets you shop through the app. Um, it lets you shop through the app to get to other stores. So, for instance, this is Madewell. For instance, if I wanted to shop through Madewell, I would sign in or whatever, and I would get money back. So, it says 3% cash back on Adam and Eve, which I don't know what store that is, but I have 9% cash back. From All Saints, that's 2% cash back, and it tells you, like, expi the expiry date of this all and all that. So that's pretty much what eBay does. If you like to save money while you shop, that's a good app. I have Nasty Gal, that's by Apple Store Poshmark. If you don't have Poshmark, you can um, follow me on Poshmark. My thing is, same thing as my um, Twitter, I-T-S-K-Y-L-A-B-I. I'll put all of them in the description, but I sell my clothes on Poshmark. Poshmark is pretty easy to use, and I recommend it if you like to sell stuff on the, if you like to sell your stuff and you want to make some extra cash on things that you don't use anymore. So I have Sephora. I like to use my Sephora app to like put stuff that I want so that when I go to the store, I just have a list of them and I can just pick it up from there. Um, Target, because I like to look at their furniture. I don't know, it's fun to me. That's why, because I like to look at new electronics as well. I have order up to order food. I have ASOS, Saks Fifth. Unidays is an app. If you're a college student and you want to get this student discounts on stores, this is a good store. This is a good app to have. All you have to do is sign up with your student email. Urban Outfitters, for instance, has 10% discount. And Apple Music also have a student membership. So instead of paying, I think, $12, or I think I still pay $12, I need to switch it to this one because I haven't done that, but I'll do that right now. Um, all you do is pay four ninety nine a month, and if you have a friend that you want to, it's easier for you guys to just say, "Oh, I'll split. I'll have like you know two family members on my account, and then you guys can split the four ninety nine. It just saves you money if you want to do that." I have Urban Outfits, as I have ASOS, and I have Wayfair. Wayfair is like a furniture. I like looking at furniture. I don't know why. It just makes me happy. It's like something I do on my free time, so I like looking at the stuff they have there. Next thing I have are games. I have games like Best Fiends. Sorry. I have games like Best Fiends, Candy Crush. This is not supposed to be here. But I'm just going to switch that out. Yeah. So 
so the games I have are Solitaire. I love, I don't know, these are my, Solitaire and Spider are like one of my games that I play. I don't know if I'm really old school, but I like to play those games. I have 10, 10 and 94%. The next thing I have is Finance and pretty much like all the things that I use for, um, all the things that I have money on or that I want to use with money. Even has that deals with money is in this folder. And so Cash App is an app that you can send money to any account through like, it's really easy to use. So if you wanted to send money to someone that had a PNC account for instance and you have a Chase, you wouldn't have to send it through your Chase app because that charges you like $10 if you want to send it on the same day or 15 or something, I don't really know. But this charges you, if you want an instant fee, charges you like 1% and if you want it, if you don't want them to charge you, you just have to wait like one business day for that. And then Credit Karma is an app that lets you check your credit score. So if you don't know anything about credit, you should start looking at that because pretty much living in America, your life depends on this. If you don't, like, you know, building credit is really good. So if you want to check your credit and all that, you can use that to check it. And it's pretty accurate. Music, I have Tidal, I have SoundCloud, and I have Genius. Um, I always, I had Shazam on my old phone, so I'm probably going to download that. I love Shazam because it's just like, if I hear a song that I like and I don't know the name of the song, I'll Shazam it and it'll tell me what song it is and it'll let me download it off. Then for photo and video, I have Facetune, Bisco, Boomerang. I love this so much. It's such a cute and fun way to like play with pictures. That's pretty much what you could do with it. And it's like a fun GIF or whatever. Adobe Draw, like I want to start doing like a little bit of some illustration. So I decided to download this so that I could try stuff. And that's pretty much the stuff you can do with it as you can see. In that video the next thing I have is my camera connect this allows me to take pictures from my phone it allows me to take pictures um, from my phone with my cup with my um, camera so I'll have to just connect my camera to my phone and then it'll let me take pictures from there the new cam is also like a photo editing app that I use I really don't really use it but I like it anyway to play with stuff next thing I have is utilities. I have an Apple remote and I have my my Xfinity account so that lets me just like figure out like pay stuff online and then pay my um, what do you call it my cable and my internet online and Apple TV just lets me um, connect I mean use my phone as my remote for my Apple TV so Nike training I have like a Nike band and like it pretty much is connected to this app so this app allows me to like find out like you know different workouts for different things that I like. So if I wanted like mobility, endurance, like all that kind of stuff, it will show you people who are geared towards that type of thing. The next one I have is my reference app. I have a dictionary. I have word reference because um, I'm also a French major. So sometimes I like to use this app to find new words or to figure out a word. I like using Urban Dictionary sometimes because when I'm texting some people and like I don't understand what they're saying, I pretty much check Urban Dictionary if like they're too pop culture for me and I don't understand and that's pretty much what I do. I have Google Translate to help me translate words that I need to know and then I also have the Convert app. This just makes me convert currency. I'm from Nigeria if you guys don't know and sometimes whenever I travel to a different country, I just like to know like how much it is in dollars and, and how much it is in other currency that I have so far. And Sounds like a hundred dollars is 93 euros and that's pretty much it the next app I have is my Bible this is so good because this helps me like so you can choose for instance if you look at this you can say verse of the day is Jeremiah 29 11 and then you can read it and it just makes you get up to date with like you know reading the Bible if you're a believer in Christ and it'll just help you look for like different types of things that you're looking for like now it says discover thankfulness in god's promises so if you're looking for things to be thankful for or you want to know how to pray and be thankful for things you can just choose something here so for instance if i choose people of the second chance it'll make me read something about that i can start a plan and the plan is for five days so that's pretty much how that works that's pretty much what I have on my phone right now and I have like the phone, the Safari messages and my music but these aren't all the apps I usually have on my phone. I have way more apps than that. I can show you guys on my cracked iPhone 6. <laughs> this has like 
a lot of apps that I use. As you can see, there are more apps here. Um, the only thing I don't have here that's on here, I have the Kindle app because I like to read some of my some of my school books are on there, and I use that. And I have more fitness stuff here, so when I go to the gym, I can like figure out whatever I want to do and gear it towards like my thing. And then I have more travel stuff here. So there's Wanderoo, Expedia, Turo, Amtrak, Airbnb, Uber Eats. Um, Uber Eats is just like they deliver food. It's like Postmates. And yeah, that's pretty much. And I think I have more photography stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. My iPhone 6 is really cracked. I don't know if you guys can see. But yeah, there's no difference with these two really in size as far as I'm concerned. I don't know. And the only thing I got differently was a black phone versus my gold phone. And that's what they both look when you put them together. That's what they both look like. I prefer this one, the gold one for like without the fingerprints, but I love the color of this. This is a really sleek color. It's just that it'll get a lot of fingerprints on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.